I had a lot of interest in agriculture, uh, primarily because my family had a small, what you'd call a hobby block on the edge of the Atherton Tableland in Coranda. We had really good friends on a tobacco farm in Mareeba, and I spent a bit of time up there on that property. And one thing that fascinated me about tobacco production was how terrible the soils were and how they grew this magnificent crop. Uh, they were literally sands and gravels, so that gave me a bit of interest in soils and land in particular. I always enjoyed driving through farming land, whether it was on the sugarcane on the coastal plain, south of Cairns or north of Cairns, or the Atherton Tableland, very picturesque area. So when I finished senior, I went to Queensland Ag College, which is now UQ Gatton, and did a four-year degree course, majored in soil and water conservation engineering, soil science, and crop agronomy. When I joined the department, I was employed as a soil conservation officer, which was an extension position, because a lot of people, and I was included in them, when they finish the university, they've got their eyes on a research career. You're gonna set the world on fire with, with uh, groundbreaking research. But I pretty soon realised that research is only as good as the amount of adoption that occurs on the ground with producers. So I really relished the extension role as a soil conservation officer in, in uh, Kingaroy and then later on in Atherton, where I was working primarily in cropping industries in grain. So when I got transferred from uh, Atherton to Charters Towers at the start of 1989, I had a, a quite a good grounding in soil conservation practices, but very focused on grain and other intensive agriculture forms. Very little knowledge on grazing land management. And that's where the mentor I had, uh, who was very experienced in the beef industry, really came into play. Uh, that person introduced me to the, to the beef industry, uh, gave me a lot of uh, background information that really set the scene. And so my career for most of my years in Charters Towers has been in grazing land management, primarily things like managing stocking rates, weed control, sowing pastures, etc. It's only been in the last 10 years that I've got back more into that soil conservation work that I was doing all those years ago in Kingaroy and Atherton but very different. There's no cultivation here, uh, so we're talking things like gully erosion in grazing land, uh, severely degraded grazing land like scalded country clay pans, and that's where a lot of the work I've done in the last 10 years has been on, particularly on gully reclamation. So I've done a lot of projects. Uh, most have been successful, some haven't been, but you learn by your mistakes, and uh, that's been a fairly steep learning curve for me in some regards, but I've certainly enjoyed it. In more recent times, I've been fortunate to have a new position appointed by the department that I've put a big effort into training, and uh, that young fellow's coming ahead in leaps, leaps and bounds. I'm really pleased with him, and uh, you know, when I retire in a couple of months' time, I'll be quite comfortable that he can take off from where I left off. So, yeah, it's been good.